This video will explain the fallacy of amphiboly. So this is my favorite fallacy, um, mostly because there's just it ends up having a lot of kind of funny sentences. Um, but I think students kind of drives them crazy. So the fallacy of amphiboly occurs when the arguer misinterprets an ambiguous statement and then draws a conclusion based on this faulty interpretation. So the example is, Professor Johnson said that he will give a lecture about heart failure in the biology lecture hall. It must be the case that a number of heart failures have occurred there recently. So the ambiguous sentence is the first sentence. Professor Johnson said that he will give a lecture about heart failure in the biology lecture hall. So this could mean one of two possible things. Um, either he's going to give a lecture about heart failure and it's going to take place in the biology lecture hall. Or he's going to give a lecture at some undisclosed location. And it's going to be about specifically heart failures that have occurred in the biology lecture hall. So the more likely interpretation really is that he's going to give a lecture about heart failure and it's going to take place in the biology lecture hall. Um, but the arguer is uh, drawing a conclusion based on sort of the more unlikely scenario because it's, it's I think fairly unlikely that there's sort of some sort of significant number of heart failures that happen in the biology lecture hall. Um, as bad as biology class may be, I don't think it's bad enough to cause heart attacks um, in all the students. So, so here we have, so the key to being able to sort of recognize this fallacy is the, being able to see the two different possible interpretations of the sentence and how the arguer is um, drawing a conclusion based on sort of what's not the most likely interpretation of the sentence.